The weight loss industry has, for long-term weight loss, and long-term weight loss is clusters over two years, it has, I think it's a 94% failure rate, meaning that those that try, 94% of the people that try to lose weight fail to lose it and sustain that weight loss for more than two years. That is a dismal number, and but it's a pretty accurate number. So that leads us to believe that weight loss must be very difficult. It must be incredibly challenging because so many people fail. And why would I be the person to beat the odds, you know? But let me just explain to you why, although that number is indeed true and pretty scary, right? Where it does not mean that weight loss is difficult. We're just approaching it completely the wrong way. And I can't believe nobody else talks about this. So imagine, bear with me here, I love analogies, Imagine that I gave you a piano. Does that mean you can play the piano? No. Nothing wrong with a piano and there's nothing wrong with you. What about if I gave you a golf club? Does that mean you can play golf? No. Nothing wrong with a golf club and nothing wrong with you. What about if I gave you a book in Chinese? Can you read it? No. Nothing wrong with the book. Nothing wrong with you. What I'm saying here is just having a product doesn't mean you can master the skill. And there's not necessarily anything wrong with the product. So the weight loss industry sells products. They sell, here's a diet, here's a supplement. Awesome diets, awesome supplements. I have no dog in that fight. And, you know, you can use the product and maybe you're good enough to use that product once and it works, but it doesn't mean you've mastered the skill. So again, let's go back to the piano. I gave you that piano. And what about I taught you one tune on that piano? And you can play that tune really well. You can play it in front of anybody and it sounds great. Does that make you a pianist? No, it doesn't. It means you can play one tune on the piano. This is like dieting. They give you one diet and it worked, right? So, oh, wow. But when it doesn't work anymore because you use it in a different situation and life shows up and life has so many different scenarios. It's like, okay, so it must be me that's wrong. I must be failing because the product worked before. It's the same thing. You can play one tune on the piano. So basically it's the difference between an amateur and a pro, right? So when we're an amateur in this thing called weight loss, an amateur does enough work to get it right once. A professional does enough work to get it right all the time. So the weight loss industry is selling you products and there's nothing wrong with the products. I have no, I mean, nothing wrong with it. But they're not teaching you the skill. Weight loss and body composition is a skill. No two ways around it. It is a skill to be mastered. And I'll tell you, it's a lot more, it's more fascinating and more fun than learning the piano because I have nightmares from that as a kid. Think about the golf club. You get, you want to learn golf, you expect to get a coach. You want to learn a second language, you expect to get lessons. You get a piano, you expect to get lessons, you expect to get a coach. And what else do you expect? You expect to not be very good at it at the beginning. You expect you're going to have to learn a little bit. You're going to go in, there's going to be a progression to it, right? So you're not going to learn to speak Spanish on level six. You're going to start on level one. You're not going to learn to play the piano. You're going to learn the tunes first, right? Second language, you're going to learn the conjugations before, you know, there's a progression to it. And we expect to have to start at the beginning. We expect we're going to have to practice it. We're going to have to go back and repeat it. We're going to make mistakes. And slowly over time, we're going to progress. But when it comes to weight loss, which for some people is the greatest challenge of their life, seriously, the greatest challenge, the thing that impacts their quality of life more than anything for some people is their body composition. And yet they don't see it as a skill. They're not being told that it is a skill to master. They're being sold a product. And when it doesn't continue to work, they blame themselves. So they go back and they do it again and again and again and again. And then we're led to believe that it's impossible because there's this 94% failure rate. Everybody fails. Everybody's using products. They're not learning the skill. I coach the skill. Once you understand the skill and you want, it's just like anything else. You start with the beginning. You start at the beginning. You start with the basics, pretty boring stuff. And then you practice it and you make mistakes and you learn a bit more. You practice and you make mistakes and you progress and you progress and you progress and you progress. 
It's not that difficult. The information is fascinating. Believe me, as a kid, I tried to play the piano. Uh, there's a story there. I've taken golf lessons. Boy, I was bad at first. I mean, oh, I've got videos to prove it. And I continue to take Spanish lessons. And I will always be taking Spanish lessons because I will always have room to get better. This thing called weight loss or body composition. So I say body composition because it's not all about weight loss. It's about gaining muscle, you know, changing the fat patterning of your body, shape of your body. It's not just weight loss. I mean, let's think about weight loss. You don't just want to become a smaller version of yourself. You usually want to look better. And that's not just looking like a smaller version of yourself. It's just learning the skill. And the skill is fascinating. I mean, all my coaching programs, people are just, you know, what does somebody say? That it's like an edge of the seat type of thing. You can't wait for the next episode. It really, truly is fascinating. And it's fascinating because you can relate to it. You get the information like, oh my gosh, now it makes sense. I did this. I've done that. That's why I felt this. That's why I experienced this. Oh my gosh. It's not like I'm this person that can't achieve it. I'm this flawed person and my body's broken. Once you start to understand it and you put this thing together, it is fascinating. And once you have the skill, it doesn't matter that there's 94% failure rate. <laughs> I would beg to suggest that somebody given a piano without instruction, I would beg to suggest that the failure rate would be 100%. What are the chances of you figuring that out? What are the chances of you sitting at piano without any lessons and just like smashing those keys until you got a tune? How long would you try for? An hour? Two hours? A week? You'd give up pretty quickly. You would give up quicker than somebody trying to lose weight given a diet. See what I'm saying? I would suggest that those people trying to learn a second language without any lessons will give up within a week. I mean, how are you going to do that? I mean, I've tried, trust me. Oh, I'm just going to watch the movie in Spanish and I'm going to get it. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. Trust me, you don't. They tell you you can, but they don't. They sell products too. Or like, oh, here's a book, here's a movie. Just watch movies in Spanish. No, 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 no. You have to get a coach. Believe me, I've done this. And you start at the beginning and you start with the verbs and you get it wrong and then you conjugate and you move through and move through and you progress. And as you progress and as you're successful on each level, you're highly motivated to continue with this skill. Highly motivated. And then because you're progressing, this learning curve becomes somewhat effortless. Because you're progressing, because you're succeeding, you're motivated, you're inspired. It's fun. It's fascinating. And it becomes somewhat effortless. That is the only reason that people fail at weight loss. They're not being taught the skill and they're not being offered the skill. They're just being given products. They're being given challenges and, oh, follow this and just do that, you know, follow it exactly and it'll work. And it did. Great. Hoorah. You learned one tune on the piano. Body composition is it's a skill and it's there to be mastered and it's fun and it's fascinating and it is there for the taking for those that want to take on the challenge. And what I found from my coaching is, honestly, if I had to put a number on it, I'm going to say 80% once they're exposed to this are all about it. There's probably only, yeah, maybe two people out of 10, they're like, yeah, you know what these people say? They say, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Just write me a diet and I'll do it. I won't do that anymore. Those of you that know me, just write diet. I will not. I will coach you. I will not just write a diet because it is futile. And then they say, oh, I worked with the Joanne. It didn't work for me. Dude, you didn't work with me. You followed a diet. So yeah, there's some people that say, I don't just draw just tell me what to do. Just write me a diet and I'll do it. I won't do it for a start. It's not a failing on their part. They're just not there yet. After they've had a few more rodeos and a few more frustrating bouts with this, then most of the time they're ready to do the work. And then they're like, my gosh, I wish I'd have done this sooner. It's a skill. It's fun. It's fascinating. But that is the only reason that weight loss has such a dismal success rate. It's not because it's so difficult and it's this fairy tale ending that's elusive ending that only is only granted to a few special people. It's not. It's not. It's just because it's portrayed and it is sold as a product and it is not a product. Anyway, hope that helps. Hopefully that inspires you to realize that what you want to achieve is yours for the taking. The approach just has to be slightly different. And it's a really fun approach.